Good morning everyone. Finally made it to the day of the 5k. I uh, just waking up here in Chilliwack. It's uh let's see I'll show you guys here. Just before 5.30, nice and early, just having some coffee. Little bar getting ready to go. Gonna get changed here in a minute. And uh, head out the door. Uh, I just wanted to uh first say thanks for the continued support guys and uh Please remember to subscribe and like. I really do appreciate it. Just lets me know that you like the videos. And I'll keep them going. Coming, uh, I should say. It's uh, still waking up here. So <laughs> I'm going to head out the door in about 15 minutes. And uh, take some videos on the run for sure. And then I'll talk about it after. Alright, see you guys then. Hey guys, we're back at the house now. It is actually the next day. Uh, originally I did plan on doing this right when I got back. But as you know, life gets in the way sometimes and we just got a little bit busy. So we're doing it today. Bear with me here, but tired, just got home from work and did a light kind of 7K recovery run, which wasn't too bad actually, but that's not the focus of this video. As I talked about yesterday morning when I first talked to you guys before I went for the run, I was going on my 5K time trial. I don't think I mentioned I have a time, I had my A goal of Two minutes, 50, two minutes, 50 seconds, 20 minutes and 50 seconds, which is about, I think, four, four, 10 a kilometer. I had a B goal of 2130. Uh, I'm not sure that is a kilometer, but it had just been so long since I had run a 5K that I really wasn't sure what to expect. Kilometer one, three minutes, 50 seconds. Second kilometer, 403. Alright, so I just finished the 5k. Just a quick wrap up of the kilometers. Kilometer 1, 351, then 403, 421, 420, and 404 for 20 minutes and 41 seconds. So about 9 seconds better than my goal time. So really happy with that. We'll uh, wrap it up better at the house later. Thanks. Hope you guys enjoyed that. That's just a little bit of footage I got from my 5K run. Thanks to Tabitha for taking all that footage. We actually got a lot more than we thought we were gonna get. Just a little bit mixed up at the end there. So I gave the three kilometer update and then we had a little mix up on where I was finishing. So I didn't see her. She spun around after I finished and then that's when I give you my kilometer times. However, when I went back in on Strava, it says I was 20 minutes 37 seconds for the 5k i guess it did say 20 minutes 40 seconds or 20 41 but i think that was just because i went a little bit over 5k so for the 5k it was a pb of 20 minutes 37 seconds so couldn't be more excited about that uh, my fastest kilometer i've ever run uh, 349 was my first kilometer uh, i followed up with 403 and then i believe 420 421 and then ended with 403 again so overall, really, really happy. I'll just make a couple quick comments. I will give you guys some 
initial impressions on the Atreyu the Artist shoe, which I did wear for the run. I will say probably this shoe is probably a lot better. Not that it wasn't amazing for the 5K, but just the cushion, the softness, just how comfortable it was. Half or half marathon and up, I would say, would probably be where the shoe would shine the most. However, I mean, it's light enough. It felt, I know a lot of people say it's soft and it's not quite as springy, but as someone who is used to wearing the Pegasus 37 all the time, which I didn't realize how many people really hated that shoe until I started watching some other reviews about it. This thing is just way more lively, way springier. It does have that carbon plate in. So compared to what I'm used to, this thing was awesome. I'm going to take it out on either, I'm probably aiming for Saturday morning for a long run. Right now my long run's 12, 13 kilometers. So I'll be taking that out for, taking this out for that, just to kind of take it through some different speeds. Cause I know it works at fast, fast speeds, which was obviously good as I had my PB, but just to see how it goes through some slower paces, medium speed, just, just do some different things and see how versatile the shoe can be as when you're running as fast as you can. Not really thinking so much about how the shoe's feeling during that. So I know I've rambled on here a little bit, but I hope you guys enjoyed the, the 5K footage there. I had a great time. I would definitely recommend looking into the shoe a little more. And as I said, I'll give you guys a much better kind of first impression video after I take it out for my next run. So by that point, there'll be like 17, 18 K in it and I'll have taken it out for all different paces so that I can give you guys a good idea on what it's best for. So yeah, thanks again. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and hopefully we can keep setting personal bests. Thanks guys. Hopefully you had a good run and I'll talk to you guys again soon.